from a game called The Long Journey Home. And uh, yeah, so tell me a little bit about The Long Journey Home, what it's about, and what makes it unique. Okay, it's a space exploration RPG in which you uh, choose four out of ten crew members. Then you make the first light jump of mankind, it goes wrong. You end at the other side of the galaxy, which is procedurally generated. And then you try to figure out how to come home. And on the way you meet really strange aliens and you try to communicate with them. And as it is with different cultures, it's not so easy to communicate, so that goes wrong. And you, yeah, so you try to make friends. And when you make friends, you also make foes. It uh, sounds totally different than the real world where our communication always works perfectly yeah, yeah. and everyone gets along. <laughs> no, uh, that's great. It sounds really interesting. So um, tell me about like what, what, what are your goals of the game? Like if you, when, you, when somebody sits down to play it, what do you hope they get out of it? Okay, so it's um, the challenge with our game is it's not like uh, there's this genre with this kind of new feature. Um, do you know Star Control? It's a really old game, so it's really a lot based on that. So when you make the space and fly around in the star system, we have planetary gravity, so you try to get into the, um, you try that the planet catches you and then you go into orbit and then you land and when you land you can uh, harvest for resources, you have a little lander. So all our gameplay is uh, 2D actually, we didn't want to bother you with 3D navigational gameplay that others can do very well. Um, and I think one really special thing is um, everything you find in the game you can show to the characters you choose at the beginning and depending on who they are, you can, they can do different things. And then the stories are branching, so you gener we generate the game out of a code you can enter. It's deterministic, so if you use the same code as a friend does, um, you have the same galaxy. Um, but depending on your decisions, the stories are unfolding differently. And then you have different kind of aliens. And then you try, uh, you try, when you meet them, you can either decide if you want to shoot them, which is actually the worst idea when you are alone at the other side of the universe. Um, but it's, it's a legged option. Um, or you show them stuff you have found, or you talk with them, you have a new word, and then you no know, story branches opening up. So actually you can do quite a lot, and it's super hard to explain without showing it. <laughs> right, right. So how do you uh, capture the feeling in a game like this, the feeling of being away from home and, you know, feeling lost in a, in, a, in a universe? How do you capture that? Yeah, I think it's interwoven in a lot of different things. So first we started with music and the artwork. So um, I don't know if you can see it in the back, but we have always this kind of feeling, uh, this artworks where your single ship is flying very alone with this kind of trail behind that. And that's really in the game. So when you fly around the star system, you're just this little kind of dot flying around the star system. And all aliens we have are not human at all. So we are really like, like if you know Farscape, which is a TV show we really admire, so having really strange aliens so that you do not find something that is like, oh, that's a human being with a blue head and something on the head. So it's um, so you always have this, and they don't understand you, nobody understands you. You cannot just pick another crew when one of your crew members dies. So we, we try to interwove it in, in a lot of different kind of aspects of the game. Yeah, sounds, sounds really interesting. Uh, one question that I like to ask game developers and creative people is why do you make games like why do you do what you do um, okay that's an interesting question I think one thing is that everybody's telling that's interesting to tell stories but what I think is the interactiveness of games gives you much more kind of leverage and you can you can experience something completely different than we have when you read a book or see a movie um, a, one of my best examples is papers please if you know that game um, sitting there and making stems gives you the feeling of working for an ugly government you do not like and it's much stronger than reading a book about that and it's much stronger than seeing a movie because it's your decisions and that's what we also try with Long Journey Home that everything you do in the game is a decision and it's a hard decision we only have one safe game you cannot go back so your decision matters and making this decision and this kind of interactivity is something I, I think it's best expressed in games so that's, that's maybe it Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Andres, for your time. I uh, can't wait to check out Long Journey Home. In fact, uh, I want to play right now. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Well, that's it for us. Thanks. <laughs>